Have you guys ever wondered where some of your favorite reality stars or musicians, actors, comedians are now? I often do, and I often find myself up in the middle of the night searching Google and Instagram to find where are these people at now? What is going on in their lives? Well, this is a new series that I'm bringing to this channel called Where Are They Now? Well, we'll be catching up on some of our past faves to see how life is working out for them now. In our first episode, we're going to be catching up and seeing what College Hill alum Lisa Milan is up to. Here is her cast photo from her season of College Hill. I just remember her getting into it with the other cast mates. They didn't like her. They thought she was superficial and bougie. And it was something with, you're a plastic, you're a plastic, you're a plastic. That's all I really remember from her. She was a cute girl or whatever, but they just thought that she was bougie. And I don't think she really got in, got along with anybody in the house, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to go back on BET Plus and check out that season to catch up even more on her. When I did some digging on miss lisa milan i found out a lot of tea on her this is how she looks currently she is beautiful if anything she has glowed up even more over the years she is even more stunning now than she was when she was on college hill she is currently married her new name is lisa milan hall this is a picture of her and her husband his name is rich and they are living in dubai she is no longer a u.s citizen she is in dubai and this is a picture of their wedding when they got married they make a beautiful couple stunning couple and they have three children three beautiful boys together they make a gorgeous family so here's a little tea on lisa milan she is now a successful fashion designer entrepreneur and television personality she is the founder of children's educational brand my little makers which produces early development toys books and media also the founder and chief designer of maternity fashion brand mina Rowe, which has been worn and or hand picked by many celebrities including beyonce serena williams Katy perry Gigi hadid chloe kardashian and many more mina Rowe has also been featured in magazines such as harper's bazaar and cosmopolitan okay girl lisa is a proud expat wife and mother to three little boys boys maximilian sebastian and christian she's also an advocate for women empowerment and has built an organic social media following to connect with women across the globe that is what is up yes ma'am if you guys want to check out some footage of lisa milan check out this video from her youtube channel and get to know a little bit more about what's been going on with Lisa since College Hill. I'm really excited today, guys, because I managed to drag my better half with me today. He doesn't like this type of stuff, so I had to do a lot of bribing, but he's here and we're going to answer some of your questions. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> How did you meet? Well, we met in Miami at Live on a Sunday. We did, that is the truth. Yeah. Okay. Well done, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Was it love at first sight? No. <laughs> but we do love each other. We love each other for bits now, but it wasn't love at first sight. Does no. that exist? Is that a real thing? I don't know if love at first sight is a real thing. It was lust at first sight. I like that. Lust at first sight. <laughs> Lust in live. Lust in live. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Oh my God, it's almost 10 years ago. I can't remember. I think you said I love you first. Nah, definitely you. Really? Yeah, it sounds more like me. Yeah. Maybe I did, but is that bad that we don't remember? <laughs> I think girls usually remember these things and um, I don't remember. But I'm going to say me. Yeah, I'm gonna say me. What do you love most about each other? What do you love most about me? 
Uh, there's a, a huge long list of things that I love about you, but the main things are you're an amazing mum. You're an amazing wife, you're beautiful, you're classy, Aww. you're loyal, you're funny, <laughs> you're my best friend. Thank you. That's a good list for today. That's a good list for today. <laughs> okay, what do I love most about you? I think, well, I don't think, I know for sure. I love that you're such a great dad. You are you. the best father in the world. I mean, for somebody like me, I didn't really grow up with my dad. and. One thing that I really, really wanted for my children is to have an amazing dad. And you've surpassed every single expectation and beyond. Oh, thank you. And uh, you're a great husband. And you're kind, you're sweet. Everyone who knows him loves him. I mean, literally, in his office building, down to the janitors, everybody. You treat everybody equally and just such a good human being. Thank you. And I think that's what I love most about you. Okay, Deal, I'll do another episode with you. <laughs> Do you want more kids? No. no. <laughs> I love my kids. Yeah. Three is enough. Three is enough. You know, it's it's a question that we get asked all the time. And it's usually by people who have no kids. Mm. You know, three is a lot of kids, you know. And When's we, the next one coming? When are you going to have the girl? Yeah. He doesn't make girls, by the way. Let me just make that clear. I don't think it's possible. He doesn't make girls. And if you know, <laughs> the, the man decides the gender of the baby. And he does not make girls. So... Yeah, I, I think I'm a king. you are a king, and and we and I birth kings. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think we're really blessed. We're really thankful, but I think we're done. We're done, yeah. and I pray God bless other people who are unable to have kids. I pray to God that God blesses them with kids because kids are amazing. They are. Yeah. Is Lisa the first black woman you ever dated? Then what's the difference? First black girl you ever dated? Dated, yeah. Ah, oh, TMI, TMI, oh my God. What's the difference, Rich? Uh, uh, no real deal. Oh, I guess the main difference would be um, the hair, you, your interchangeable hair. Inter you know what, cut, cut! Interchangeable hair, really? Yeah, you know, we could just chop it and change it and, and it's like Lego. My hair always looks fabulous, okay? It's like okay? playing with Lego, it's oh, cool. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Any difference? Real difference? The real difference, the, the, your cooking tastes much better. Okay. Wait, we do add seasoning. Your cooking tastes much yeah. better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're so crazy. If there was ever an issue due to race, is there an open line of communication? Yeah, I think most definitely. There, I don't think an issue per se within our relationship, within our marriage um, or our families, thank God, because I know some people in interracial relationships Sometimes the families get involved and there's problems, but we're really fortunate that there's no race issue within our marriage. But there have been times for sure where, you know, especially with the whole Black Lives Matter movement, where I feel I've had to really explain to you why people are out protesting, what this really means to us. You know, and um, but I don't think an issue per se, but we definitely have these conversations and we think it's very important and really healthy for me to hear his perspective and for him to hear my perspective. It's a learning curve for both of us, right? And I think it's, it's actually really good because we get to, you know, share each other's views. We yeah. get to, and because we love each other and respect each other, we actually are open-minded and we listen and we take it on board and we give it thought, we reflect on it. Yeah. You know, and we come back and, and try and see it from the other person's point of view and definitely. perspective. Definitely, definitely. I think when you have mixed race kids, you have to do that because mm -hmm. You, you have to be able to give them those answers and that kind of balanced view. Uh, absolutely, because you don't want other people. Really? Sorry. Did you just take your phone in the middle of my thing? <laughs> oh my God. You money, babe. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's your answer, guys. <laughs> did you watch College Hill? Did you watch College Hill? College Hill, yeah, I did. <laughs> You're plastic, you're plastic, you're plastic, you're plastic, you're plastic. <laughs> oh my god. Bang! Yeah, okay, okay. 
That's my favorite show. Okay. That's my favorite reality TV mm -hmm. show. I have to say, I really like her and her husband's energy. They make a really cute couple. They seem to really be comfortable with each other, trusting of each other. You can tell that there is a bond there and that they love each other. This was filmed just a year ago. So I'm really digging them as a couple. So I'm really digging Lisa Milan and Rich's marriage and her glow up and her businesses and their children this is a great look for her she has really made a life for herself outside of being on a reality show back in the early 2000s well guess what I have even more tea on Lisa Milan she has been casted in the new Bravo Real Housewives of Dubai series this is the latest city to be added to the housewives universe this is gonna be good we get to see her back in reality tv and we get to explore such a beautiful place like dubai and through the eyes of not only white women but black women as well so joining lisa milan hall in this cast is sarah al madini Madani, Chanel Ayan, Caroline Brooks, Caroline Stanberry, and Nina Ali. I love this diverse cast. Loving this. If you recognize Caroline Stanberry, she was on another Bravo show called Ladies of London, which I think was on for maybe two or three seasons. I loved her on Ladies of London. She is recently divorced and also recently remarried. These are photos from her Dubai wedding, which will be featured on this upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Dubai because I saw the behind the scenes footage on some of the ladies stories during the time of the wedding and I saw the camera crew there. So this will be a part of her storyline on this upcoming season. Love Caroline, can't wait to see how she mix and plays with the other ladies. Now, Caroline Brooks is a real estate agent. She is a gorgeous, really beautiful woman. Can't wait to see how she makes out on this show. She seems like she is just a bad bitch, boss bitch. Also, we have Ayan, who is a model, honey. And I ain't just talking about no commercial model or print model. No, she is a model she has modeled for valentino prada Givenchy, all of the big name designers she is stunningly beautiful statuesque and just gorgeous this is really shaping up to be a beautiful cast so i cannot wait to see what all of these ladies including lisa milan and what they are going to bring to this new franchise of the housewives i wonder will she get along with the other girls will they not like her personality is she gonna be anything like she was when she was on college hill i cannot wait i'm expecting for us to get episodes of the real housewives of dubai probably sometime this summer so this is gonna be lit thank you guys for watching this video i already have another episode in the works so be ready to check out another episode of where are they now next week on the color me pink channel also you guys make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe hit that notification bell button and i will see you guys on the next video peace